spoil it is. So if you know, uh, after I show you, leave a comment let me know uh, what you think it is. Um, I bought this coal from a supplier. Uh, about, it's about a good 50 miles from my shop. And he sells it in big pieces. He called it Kentucky Lump Coal. I, uh, it comes from a mine up in Muhlenberg County, Kentucky. Uh, I'll get a piece of it and show you real quick. Alright, so I got two pieces here. As you can see, they're really uh, pretty good size. These are smaller pieces. Some of them are just gorgeous. Uh, when you touch it, you know, you still get like the black dust on your hands. But when you break it, Break it. It's kind of shiny. There you can kind of see right there how shiny it is. Um, and then and then this, if you touch it, it's not dirty and it just flakes off. You can see like on this side you can see a grain, like a grain underneath it, like wood. Uh, when I first saw it. I thought it was that, I don't know how you pronounce it, atricide, If I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's because I don't know any better. But, I don't think it is because it cokes up so well. Uh, now this is, all this right here is all the coal. You know, it's just, the, I've been using this all day. And it's been coking up really nice. There's a piece right there. I mean, it's just, you know, good hot coal. And it also lights really easy. Instead of using the uh, coal, you know, when I put my paper in the fire pot, instead of putting a uh, Coke in there like I usually do, I put uh, just the straight coal after I broke it up into uh, smaller sizes. But it gets really hot and it, and it smokes, you know, well, as you can see, you know, right here, there's still smoke. Uh, and also, I don't know the proper terminology for it, but it will, uh, you know, if, you, if I put it over top, you know, different pieces, it would like form a cave over it. I call it caving up. That's what I call it. Uh, it, it does that. So, I don't know what in the world it is. I'll show you real quick. A, uh, so the coal I'm using before. I get a quick tour of the shop. This goes into the office staff showroom, which doesn't have much to show right now except a bunch of dirt. There's one of the bigger pieces of coal. I got it. Okay. Here's some smaller pieces of. Uh, that coal that I got the other day, as you can see, it's really uh, shiny, you know, here in the light. It's really clean, you know, not any dust on it. Then this is the stuff I was getting from uh, Fiery Furnace Forge. Uh, he was selling some coal to me when I didn't have any. Uh, but as you can see, it's just really, you know, it's dull colored, you know, it has a lot of dust and uh, it just... And it burns totally different. It doesn't cave up. You cannot, I repeat, cannot uh, light it. You know, you have to use a, uh, you know, use the coke first to uh, get your fire going and then put the coal on top. And it doesn't burn as high. You know, this part is a lot hard, hotter than the other. This doesn't cave up. This does. Um, now this still smokes, as you saw, but this smokes like crazy. It smokes like a greenish brown. It's, it's just a really different, like a sulfur. It's a, what is a sulfur burning out of it? You can smell the sulfur on it. For this, you can't. So, you know, if y'all got any idea what it is, I would kind of like to know what it is. The guy at the supply yard where I bought it had no clue what it is. I asked him, and he called place where he got it and they didn't know what it was so I only know of two types of coal the bituminous 
then that other, which I'm sure I'm not pronouncing right, a atrocyte, atrocyte, I don't know. But anyways, and while you're here in the showroom, office, you know, whatever you want to call it, I'll give you a quick tour. There's, I got a few of my products hanging here and there. Here I've got a lot of little stuff. That's pretty much all I have right now is a bunch of little stuff. Um, here we've got a uh, railroad spike tomahawk I made. Uh, railroad spike knife, it's, you know, just a plain one. Uh, leaf keychain. This is just a, a letter that I made. Uh, made for branding iron. I made that when I was making some branding irons one time. Um, you know, gate latch, gate handle, with leaves on the ends, split cross, and this is just a leaf showing. And then here I have just a various amount of hooks, you know, just all kinds, you know, just this and that. And I got them on like a discount price for stuff. And then step back a little bit where you see the rest of the office. Dust there. Don't know why that welding helmet's sitting in here. Got that. No, it's not very big. Well, I'll take that back. This is bigger than my old shop. You see, here's an old cast iron uh, fireplace uh, hearth or front that I, well, an elderly gentleman uh, gave to me when I bought some uh, uh, blacksmith tools from him. And it's also for sale, so if you want it, you know, let me know. And then we got a sofa for people, you know, customers come relax while I'm welding for them. And refrigerator, microwave, and then a big pile of horse harness. We don't, our barn isn't built yet, so kind of put up with that being in here. But I cannot complain about the view out the office window. Right down there, I don't know if you can see right down there there's the lake I don't know if you can make it on this video or not so not a bad view out that window and then out my front window here I can see the uh, quote unquote parking lot oh never mind that that's uh, this used to be a bow shop and that's haven't taken all the stickers out of the window yet. And there's the front field. And the two big brothers, Doc and Pete. They got it made. All they do is eat, sleep, and watch me work. Hmm. But anyways, um... Just thought I'd show you all that coal. I know I've been uh, telling you all about it a little bit. You know, been wondering what it was. So. That's pretty much all that's been going on here in the shop. I've uh, just been making a lot of little things, you know. Uh, and, well, I'll take it back. I've been working on one bigger project. It's like a, I don't know what it's called. I guess a statue of a tree. Uh, I'll show you all what I did done, if I ever did. Um, I wish I could buy some patients off eBay because mine is wearing really thin, especially today after going to the dentist. You know, I went in there, felt, felt perfectly fine. Ever since I left the dentist's office, I've had a toothache. Yeah. So, moral of the story, don't go to the dentist. I just went to the other right down there. But anyways, I gotta get back to work. I gotta go see about tearing down an old barn today, so. <sighs> work, work, work. That's all I do. Um, um, yeah, see y'all later.